That's awesome. So I just got home from the theaters after watching Long Legs, and boy, do I have a lot of things to say. Long Legs, directed by Oscar Perkins, is a horror thriller which is led by Mike uh, Monroe, Blair Underwood, Alisa Witt, and of course Nicolas Cage, who plays Long Legs in the movie. Now I don't know, I didn't know anything about this movie at all, aside from it being distributed by Neon and Nicolas Cage playing a crazy person which is like half his career. But this YouTuber I watch a lot, and honestly inspired me to start a YouTube channel myself, 3C Films, was saying how good this movie was supposed to be, and I had Nick Cage, and I was like, okay, now I need to watch the movie myself, see how, see if, how good it really is. Because if you look at the other reviews, people are universally liking it, and so are the critics. So what did I think of it myself? I thought it was a good time. This might be one of those movies where you need to watch it more than once to really appreciate what the filmmaker intended to portray on screen and what some deeper implications might imply or show, but having only seen it once, I can say why people kind of caught on with the movie and why it is being liked by critics. By no means does this movie not warrant its high grade. There are a lot of shots that are beautifully filmed and the audio design for this movie is masterfully crafted with the soundtrack of Silence of the Lambs and The Shining being mixed together. Because this movie's this the soundtrack for this movie seems to be like inspired by those two movies. Maybe another one, I'm not sure. But just listen to the soundtrack and you might know what I mean. This movie follows Detective Lee, played by Mike and Monroe, and she has been put on this case where the serial killer is somehow being able to kill entire families before whatever childs they have birthday and Detective Lee with Angel Carter have to figure out who or what exactly it is they're looking. Now, as I stated before, I had no previous previous knowledge of what this movie was going to be until I had my seat at the movie theater, but watching the performances in the movie had me floored because everyone here is acting so naturally, and when it came to the powerful performances, the actors were really putting in the work, especially Nicolas Cage who has been doing more and more work as of lately, and I'm glad to see him in another horror movie again, but he plays Longlegs, the sadistic killer who has a connection with Satan. Now, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but his acts and just the way he looks are so uncanny and gut-wrenching that you honestly wouldn't have known this was Nick Cage if you didn't look at the cast beforehand. The makeup was amazing and his performances were top-notch, same with Micah Monroe's, whose character seems to have a connection with Longlegs where something happened in the past with him and her, but we don't get to find that out until the very end with a sort of a plot twist. And yes, this movie has a plot twist in an old timely sense, but it does serve its purpose, which is better than having one just to have one. There's also a cool, there's also a lot of cool imagery of Satan that's really well done and that I haven't seen been done in the movie before. Some of them are so faint that you really have to pay attention to the movie to even notice them. As for the detective stuff, it was alright. The elements are there, and they do get us to where we need to be. But the actual investigating stuff, like I was just, I just wanted to get to the cool horror stuff and the witchcraft stuff. But other than that guys, I give the movie a 3 out of 5. I will say the movie is more of an acquired taste I guess. But if you like the, the witchcraft stuff and the murders, the detective, the mystery stuff, this movie will be for you. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Please support me in any way. Any help is appreciated. Subscribe if you just came across my channel. This is my first time doing an on-screen like review with a camera. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a good night. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.